Welcome, everybody. My name is Angelo Darren, driver for Ride Local. Welcome tonight with our Ride Share Driver Preneur Tuesday night meeting, where we will answer questions how to get paid to drive your car in 2020. A lot of people nowadays are doing many things in order to uh, make the income or extra income or trying to pay pass through bills, however they're doing it. Well, right now, what we have done is we've opened up the platform. Don, I'd like to welcome you here tonight, and if you can kind of just let everybody know who you are and uh, what area of the country you're at. Okay, my name is Don Keller. I am Angel's partner, and I'm in Michigan, and we are working on getting into Grand Rapids and Detroit here. Okay, and then I'm over here in Yuma, Arizona. Uh, what put us uh, right local on the map out here a lot was the interest of the riders. Uh, although we do believe that the drivers are the one or the four, you know, that drives riders. Uh, when we first started everything, what, we always thought what's more important, the rider or the driver, as far as what drives what. So we'll get a little bit back into it. I just want to let everybody thank everybody for joining tonight. If you like the content, if you could subscribe below and also hit the notification bell. That way, when we put out new content, you're going to be alerted firsthand. And if you can do that, that helps our channel as well. And again, spreads the word for people that are looking uh, for that little extra money for use in their car. Don, uh, what I really, tonight, what I wanted to focus on and how to get paid to drive your car. Most people don't think of a car as a ways to make an income. Oh, that is so wrong. There's many different ways that you can use your vehicle to uh, get paid for it. But is, do you agree with me that there's a lot of people out in the market that are looking to make extra in income? And yet, oh, yeah. Most definitely, especially now. Right. And then yet they're in, their car sits out in the driveway. So right. they're, looking, they're, you know, they're looking to get extra money, either pay a bill, pay rent, or maybe even uh, maybe just to treat, to treat your wife out for a dinner. Whatever the case may be, you're trying to increase your income. Right, exactly. A lot of people tell me, like, uh, for years I was taught by the establishment that when I had a job, that was my income, that was my business, that job. But in reality, my business was my life, me as a whole. And that job was just a segmented part of my income. Now, right. for some, that's all we had. But for others, that's just a small, minute part of it. So what we do is we teach people how to achieve additional income by the use of the car. Now, some of the means that we do have to deal with the car. You need the car to produce the income. There's other income streams that we establish that is not the car necessarily as it is the relationship that we form like with restaurants or retail establishments that are open for delivery. All right, that's just one little facet of how we do it. But the whole idea is to think when I get in my car, I think in terms of being, uh, this is my business. So however I can make another dollar, that's where I profit. So if I can find a may way to do that, to create another doctor, now my, mind, my mindset's all different. Now I start thinking in terms of profitability and sales and offering services to people, which they need, and so, you know, if we can uh, fill that gap, then we make income based on it. So uh, we've done a lot of things over the, you know, what a year, uh, almost a year. We've been doing this about three years, building the platform because we know there's dire people out there. Now, after we had this scare of that no contact, you know, with the COVID-19 virus, that even made it worse. It almost like spearheaded everybody else up to the deck. So for those, those that didn't react quick, they established the debt. Now, I don't care if you were an employee, I don't care what your base of income was, you established some debt because of the way our country was, you know, being uh, what we were having at that moment. It's almost like our country stopped, you know, the faucet shut off and then things change. When that happens, obviously it affects a lot of people dealing with income. Why? Because we're relying on other means of other people in order to establish our income. When we do that and they drop the ball, then we stop. Our income stream stops or it gets minimized based on other people's actions, not ours. It's right. beyond our control. Right. 
Now, and once you're behind, it, it sometimes takes up to a year to get caught back up again. That's and what kind of a life is that to stress over bills all the time? That's right. But if your business is based on income stream that you might have suffered a little bit, like on one income stream, but you had other ones that really sustain themselves. So the whole thing about building a business, a lot of people say, I don't want to build a business. And I understand that because there's a lot of responsibility to it, especially if you scale it large. But right. business would be, if I was working 15 hours a week and I was looking, let's just say I was looking to get $150, $200 additional week income in, and adjacent to my job, it's still a business because I have to manage it. No matter what you do in life, you gotta manage. So it is a business. So exactly. a lot of times, uh, one guy told, told me a long time ago, he said, do everything in life, you treat it as a business. You'll be a better steward of it and you'll reward, your rewards will be greater. And ever since he's ever told me that, I kind of looked at it and he was right. I mean, it's happened every time. Right. You know, now Don, you started out uh, doing some things. I mean, a lot of it is, uh, I mean, there's people out there that's doing Uber, there's people doing Lyft, there's people doing, you know, some of the delivery after our, uh, the negative side of that is there's a strong relation or a high cost in order to do that. Right. So, right. We've learned with Uber and Lyft, especially, you know, the, the, the amount of money that they're taking from the driver. So it's left with the driver to try to live off minimal amount of income. Or right. show you how to do a lot different. Everything you have in life is a tool. So we teach you how to use different types of tools to establish an income base in your car with the platform of your car in order to sustain you, but to get you in that curve going up and up. So every year your income increases. And we can show you to do that on multiple streams of income. And that way, if one suffers or you have a glitch in one, right? Or stalemate on one, you can always have the other ones. Uh, with our driverpreneur program, one of the biggest things that we look for is in the future. We don't look at today because today is nothing. I mean, I can look at today and see how things are and that would be not depict what the future would be. So we have to kind of like, almost like forecast, not based on all our own knowledge, even though we do use that, but we right. use the knowledge of the industry gurus and people who have more knowledge or they've been following it, they know a lot more about it. So we follow people in those industries that really are the naysayers of them. So if we can follow them, we can pinpoint and find out what the what people think the future is. And we're, we're talking about brainiacs that do this on a normal basis day to day. If we can kind of do that, Gary B. Vanderchuk, Gary Vanderchuk is the one that does it. He looks into the future and then he places himself there. That way the success is there. He's right there and they're just coming for it. So really that's how we have to do in our car. We establish a business, but it's a lot more than just going out and picking up one ride or one delivery or one of this or one of that. It's more about controlling it by managing, managing it as a business and using the fundamentals and analytical and things that we teach you in order for you not only to scale it, but also for you to maintain it and manage it on the way. Because that's very important to be stable. You know, because if we do something today and it's not, we can't guarantee every time we do it that we get the same type of results, then it's not stable. Then we're out in the wind just doing all kinds of things, hoping things work out. And really with the driver producer program, it changes all that. Right. Now, Don, when you started, when you started driving, the whole biggest was to create income. I mean, you've done it with me, we've been partners about it. Exactly. And what I did is I started out with Uber and I did about three rides. And then I got curious on how much profit I was making and how much profit they were making off me. And it was amazing, the difference. So then I started trying to figure out, okay, then this isn't gonna work. So what else can I do? So then I started doing roadie a little bit. Right. And that's delivery thing. Well, okay. Explain that. Why don't you explain that? Because not everybody on here understands what roadie is or anything else. Okay, what roadie is, it's a delivery company. And what they do is they give you leads. Like you need to go, they work a lot with Home Depot. You. Long, you, longer distance or not? Uh, it can be. Okay. It can be. 
but they don't want to pay. I mean, you what? They t- expect you to take two little pieces of I don't know, say bird feeders to somebody, and right. pay you. You're lucky to make that nine dollars. Well, okay, that'd be fine, but it's 17 miles away. Right, right, right. You know, it's it's not worth the money. So there's the we've worked on and I've been working on trying to figure out different ways and the best one that I have come up with is I rent my car. I rent my car for two weeks at a time. Okay, that's a, that's a good plan. That, that is actually a good, good plan. A lot of people have done it very successful. Um, we've always talked about other platforms and a lot of people don't know either, you know, people that t- are in and are listening to us tonight, uh, they might not know nothing about delivery, making money on it. They know nothing about, you know, maybe the ride right. part of it. Now, a lot of people don't understand, okay, driverpreneur and we're with Ride Local, because Ride Local came up with the driverpreneur program. Within our program, we established an app through Ride Local, which we mm-hmm. have well. But that app comes with a driverpreneur program. That's the unique thing about it. You sign up as a driverpreneur, you get the Ride Local app. Now, what's the benefit of Ride Local app? Maybe you can highlight some of the things that uh, Ride Local app is that uh, compare apparel, you know, co- opposed to maybe other apps in the, in the business. Well, it, for one thing, it, it's quick, it's on the spot, and it's accurate. You know exactly where you're going, and it, you know exactly who you're picking up and the security is there. We have a lot more security. You know, a lot of things we do too, and we've done it over the time. We've had our uh, driver round table, you know, which was very successful in getting feedback from drivers. Uh, one thing nice about it, we changed it. I mean, mo- I mean, you take over and live. Let's, for an example, if you were a driver and there was something you thought about or something you didn't like, and you thought it would better the- benefit the company as well as your driving business. Right. If you told Uber how long we take before the response, the one thing nice about us, we collectively take the ideas of drivers uh, and their suggestions and comments. That is the driverpreneur ride local flow program. It's for us collectively as a group to make it better. So uh, at, at right now, we obviously we put the RL delivery on there. But some other breaking thing that we have done is that uh, we started doing long distance drives. It's almost like this, it just happened. People started requesting, and I don't talk about long distance have to be an hour, two hours, although that isn't well, but some of them could be as short as 38 minutes going into another city. Well, right. we're finding out that we're getting very good results by that. The results is that the driver, makes more money, right? It's a good trip. They can make up, in some cases, $100 up to $100 an hour, which is a lot for a rideshare driver. So what we're doing is we're opening up that platform for the longer distance city to city trips because there's a big need for it. Uh, If you take Uber or Lyft, and I'll give you an example, Don, I did some research, I did Uber or Lyft. If I took it from Yuma here to Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix, which is a big need here, it's a big demand, they charge over uh, four hundred and fifty dollars in order to travel somebody that far. What? Yeah, it's a lot of money. So with us, with Ride Local, because we can offer lower fares, we charge two hundred and nineteen dollars. Now that still might seem like a lot, but there's four hour trip with it. All right. right. Uh, so that's really what we're about. We're about giving the driver hundred percent fares. We're not taking any percentage. You know, Uber or Lyft or some of these rideshare companies will take uh, mm-hmm. anywhere from thirty to sixty-four percent. Send it back to their city. We keep it here in the city because we give it all to the driver. And then some people say, "Well, how does Ride Local make it? How do we make it? We make it by helping the needs of others." We have a booking fee that the rider pays for. That's how we really do. We've invested a lot of money into that business and the driverpreneur program in order to bring it, not only to market, but bring it to people. Now, you think to market, there's no cost to it. It's not like we're going around, you and I are going around and putting a fee on it, like $149, and then like uh, right. some companies do like trip, and then go ahead and then do it that way. We're not, it's 100% no cost to anybody. We only charge you for the background check. Why? We want it easy for you to get into. We want to make it easy for you to buy. If you can step into it and start the initial stages of it and start to develop your branding yourself within your city, 
under the Drivepreneur program with Ride Local, guess what? Now you can use every other platform that doesn't pay you a lot. You can use it as a tool, right? right. A tool for me to obtain business, a tool for me to get the word out. So that's really what it's about. If you're a driver in your city, and I'll give an example, and then ride local and you made 100% fares, that means you have to, you can work half or even a quarter amount of time that you work with Uber and Lyft. Now, it's not an easy business, and it's not an easy business to maintain or scale or to set up income streams. That's why it takes a dedication on an individual's part to say, hey, this is what I want to do, this is what I'm going to do, and then proceed from that end. I always know consistency in this business is the most important thing. Because we're consistent in what we do, then the public knows what we do. It's almost like being consistent when I drive. If I'm consistent in how I drive or when I drive, then normally the same people need rides during that time. So it's almost like I match it. And it's kind of funny how it's happening. Because when we first started, we were just thinking riders, drivers. But then when somebody came up with an idea of us matching a rider and driver together. So if I was a rider and I got a you, for example, Dawn as my first driver, every time you're on, you're on, uh, you're, you're open for work, I'm going to get you again. I'm going to get you again. I'm going to get you again. And the reason why that's important, because that increases the security and the safeness of the ride. Right. Two people know each other. The second thing it does is I'm knowing that I'm starting to develop relationships to the point where you almost, it's kind of cool because you get a relationship where you know a little bit of part of a writer's life. You know, so that relationship when you see each other, you start getting, uh, you can feel it. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it the way they treat you. And then yeah. obviously with on my driving, uh, for the driverpreneur platform, obviously on my writers, I encourage for referrals and stuff. And it works like crazy. It really does. I can go out and get four rides or even just say three rides or nine rides of ride local. And I can, after I do those three rides, I've touched points with them and then given them something to maybe try the ride local platform. And nine times out of 10, I get every one of them. Not everybody is a customer. I understand that. Some people do it a lot because we have some people that come into Yuma and they might come down uh, one time, get their RV repaired, but they need a ride, right? As it's getting repaired. They're, I mean, they're a good customer, but they're not an all time, every time customer. Right. Our, our, and so what I do is I bridge that relationship with a company. Kind of weird, kind of different, different way to think about it. But I went, I had a customer with an RV, had me work done at Benjamin's Carver Cleaning in Yuma. So I, I not naturally, I got a pink my uh, or uh, lift to go pick them up. And then later they used us, so they used the Ride Local platform. But what was nice about it is that uh, they really liked it because they said that there's times that they use other platforms and they can't get in. But you know, a lot of these, just because some of these people come into Yuma like once a year, you know, like they consider them snowbirds. Uh, they come in for the, the weather and stuff. Right. But they still use Ride Local, even if they use it at only those times. That's still very valuable to us and me as a driver for my platform. It is nice that the people are really amazed to see. Like I come every time I they request a ride, it's amazed that they see me again. And initially, it's really a shock for people because they're not used to it. So when they first see it, and then you can see that they're almost like they're, it's almost like a gratitude that after, you know, after they realize how, why, and so on, it's almost like a gratitude for it. So I feel that um, I'm not only building a base of customers, because that's important, but I'm developing relationships, solidifying my customer base, and then expanding it from there. So it's, uh, what I'm finding out is sales I make, like if I go driving, I don't drive full time or anything, I don't really have to. But if I go out and drive, I'm realizing my sales, uh, if I put in 20 hours this week, I'm realizing uh, my sales have increasing every week. And a lot of it is because the 20 hours I put in, the ratio is different because I'm, you know, it increases where I'm driving more percentage of ride local each week, you know, and then less of the other ones that don't pay as much. And then I find out that my profitability is like, I don't know how to explain it. I tell people screw the roof. <laughs> it really is. And I don't, I mean, I'm living a better life. Uh, I can make more if I need to, but it's kind of nice to have the ability to say, hey, if I need to make more, I have the ability to do that. Uh, but I also have the ability to live a, a life that is balanced. 
right? And I can sustain myself and also uh, look for put things away for a rainy day. Um, now, we're just starting to open up to what Michigan, Don. I know you guys have been really slow out there. Uh, yeah. Got no contact. Uh, you're starting to open up now, and uh, we're starting to open up the platform. I know I have had requests from some drivers, and all they're sticking to is the delivery part of it. You know, and, uh, Ride Local has that all as well. Uh, so, only thing I really want to talk about is how we have the flexibility to change things as we want to. I'm not saying just we, me. I'm saying uh, right. Don and everybody is a driver on the platform to drive with the military. Some people will uh, come in with a comment and then we'll take that comment and have a whole special meeting and because it's an important uh, idea. And so, you know, we've done that. So we look forward to people joining us. Uh, you can be anywhere in the United States. Our platform is only open in two areas right now. Um, that's in Grand Rapids and Union. We encourage people to sign up for it because we're looking for drivers. Matter of fact, uh, we probably look for them more than what we really need to, although we can still maintain it with our on-call drivers, which was, has helped us a lot when we've gotten busier in spikes in certain times. People will say, okay, how do I do it? How do I do this? Well, it's very simple. The simplest thing about it is just taking action. Once you take action, then the gates start opening up. Things start to happen. Mm -hmm. That with it. But uh, let me go ahead and change this uh, screen here. That way I can bring up, uh, it's going to take me just a minute, so everybody bear with me. Dawn, if you want to speak about something in the meantime. Oh, sure. Um, what I was thinking is, I know the COVID-19 is a very scary thing, and I don't take light of that at all. But there's ways that you can still drive without being in contact. You can wear your mask. You can, you know, if they don't touch you, they're in the back seat. Don't let them in the front seat. Keep a barrier between you and, and the customer. But also, in the meantime, don't make them feel like you're being rude about it. Um, there are a lot of people out there that they'll, like, if you go to a restaurant and drive through, they'll throw you your change or they act like you have a play or something. That's, that's not fair, that's not right. We all are not all sick. So I just want to stress you guys, you know, if you use your sanitizer, we do have, Green Code 2 does have products out there that will kill the bacteria that the virus feeds on. And you can disinfect your cars with it. If you have any questions, uh, give us a call and we'll help you get what you need. Right, and then I noticed like uh, a lot of it is when I'm driving, it's about the rider. So. Uh, because of everything that's happened, I wear a mask. Uh, mm -hmm. And I also use, uh, and I'll bring it up here a little bit, also use the Green Coat 2 uh, air freshener and surface contact where I can, you know, touch, uh, grab the touch points and so on after having a ride. But the most important thing is to put the mask on. Not for me, obviously, but it's for my capacity. And encourage them to wear it, which is good for the for the public, right, the community. But in the same token, it just uh, gives that extra level of security that we're taking, doing what we got to do in order to take care of us and remain safe. And that I think that's the most important thing. If we get down in here, can you see the screen now, Don? Uh, uh, to become a driver preneur on the website. Yep. All right, um, and the reason why I brought this up because really the only way it's a uh, best way to do it. There's some uh, obviously there's videos. We have many videos uh, that they can find out more information. A lot of it is action. Uh, we become a driver for newer. You can earn 100% delivery fees. Uh, the program we pay out every week. By the way, uh, the program shows and teaches how how to uh, do uh, you know entrepreneurial fundamentals to produce income streams. And the beauty of it is it can be done anywhere. So it not only can be done, and I'm, I mean, not only if uh, there are people out in our country that are living nomad or RV living, uh, so it can be done for those as well. Obviously, rideshare is a little touchy when it comes to that, but a lot of RVers. Uh, tow behind a vehicle. So a lot of times they could use that vehicle as a means of doing the driverpreneur platform and we would help you along with the way in order to get you to be there. 
uh, what's the difference between that is remote living. So I don't really have to be living in my RV or anything. I can be a remote liver where I don't want to be tied down in one area. Maybe I just want to go two areas every year. So an example would be myself. Let's say I wanted to go in the winter, experience the best of Michigan in the, in the, in the summer. I have the ability to do that. Right, and then I can also go to Yuma, Arizona, and make money because we have a platform that's open there as well. So, the more we open up more platforms, the more we're going to open it up to allow drivers in their driverpreneur program to, in, in order to travel from one area to another, whether uh, on a vacation or whether, so they can make money along the way. Obviously, there's licensing and everything we have to deal with. And as we build right now, we're, we don't look into growing other markets until we solidify the two markets we're in now. Uh, th but that all depends on driverpreneur. A lot of people sign up. We get enough driverpreneurs in that city. That can all change, too, because we do have another. There's so many things to the business. There's a portion of it that has to deal with restaurants. And uh, I really don't want to get into too much information right now. I just want to stick to where we're at right now, but in the future, you're going to be seeing some videos on various different types of income streams. And that way, it'll give you some kind of ideas how to make an additional income, whether that be uh, to supplement your income or obviously to uh, build a sustainable business. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here. You can, you can have your pick of your delivery only or your ride share only. I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, both. And then I'm gonna, do you have an insured vehicle? We do require your insure, your vehicle to be insured. Uh, obviously, it doesn't really matter on the delivery side as much. There's a little bit more leniency on that. So it's possible for you to deliver on a car that does insurance with PLPD. Uh, and then put your year of your vehicle in there. And that's quite the, that year hasn't come out yet. <laughs> A914. <laughs> uh, right. and, and obviously, uh, let's uh, you, you your city that you're interested in. So if you want to just do Yuma, I'll go ahead and fill this out for myself just to get. And then we have a section down here that's invite name from the driver. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'll just put, I'll, I'll put one of our drivers up there and I won't put his last name. And then down here, obviously, we want to verify that you're human. And I believe you can change that however you want. I can't quite see that one. There we go. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. And then go ahead and hit submit. Now, once you hit submit on this, it's going to load. And then another page is going to come up for you. Takes a minute. So here's another page. It's literally going to come up for you. And it's on, it's going to be on the same page. Become a driver entrepreneur only after you submit though. And then once you do that, it's a letter of us welcoming you to take the first cat, you know, change, take your first change to change your life and impact so many people in your local community. And uh, up down here, you can visit our website. You know the one that we just got this off of. But you're also going to do the background check. So that's actually the first thing you're going to do. But in the meantime, you're going to email a copy, and you can do it off your phone, a copy of your driver's license and your registration. You email that to support at ridelocalgr.com right down here. And then uh, you'll hit your background check, and it'll be automatic. You just go into the background check right here. And down here, you just go ahead and buy it. There's no cost to you whatsoever. Green Code 2 has been uh, really generous in picking up. So this is where you go. You check it out. And once you check it out, we'll, and once we get the copy of your driver's license registration, well, it takes three, uh, roughly three to five days. And sometimes I've had it back the same day. So it depends on uh, the person and how busy we really are accepting applications. But uh, we'll get it, do it done as soon as possible. We're interested in getting you on a ride, get you to start to take that extra income or that extra side hustle and then to find out what your why is. So, you know, think about what your why is. Would you, would you like something? Do you like your job? I mean, do you want to stay there and just make additional income? Or do you want to make additional income just periods, periods of a year 
because you get in those types of situations. Whatever it is, um, we'll find out that as soon as you sign up. We welcome everybody to sign up. There's no cost whatsoever, no cost for the background check. And uh, if anything, uh, you get this person down here that offers you a lot of assistance. Dawn is pretty amazing when it comes down to teaching how to deal with customers. She's probably the champ when it comes to customer career. <laughs> <laughs> you really are, you know. I, mean, I don't. I'm not just bluffing you here. I'm I know. In action, so I know what your ability is. But anyhow, <laughs> Don, we can kind of end this at. But I do want to say again that if you like the content and you want to see more of it, come on, hit the subscription down down below, and then hit the notification bell bell, and then we'll go ahead and send that content out to you as soon as we uh, produce it. Don, you want to say goodbye to the folks? You have any last words you want to say to them? A lot of you, there's some people on here that are drivers. There's some people on here that never even thought about it. There's probably some delivery drivers. Right. Well, I was just going to say that what I would like you to do for the week is think about if you have ever thought about having a side hustle of any kind. And if so, what is it? And let us know, and we would be more than happy to talk to you about it. Right. And next nope. week, go ahead. I'm sorry. And that note, I would like to say thank you for joining us, and you guys have a great night. All right. Hey, it's been really great, Don. It really has. Next week, Tuesday, if you chime in every Tuesday, 4 o'clock Arizona time, 7 p.m. Grand Rapids time. If you chime in every Tuesday, we have a lot of good content coming out. Next week's content is, you don't want to miss it, you really don't. It's the beginning of becoming a driver for Newark. So we show you steps on how to set that platform up and then start spearheading it. So don't miss next week. Whatever you don't, don't miss next week because you can use it whether you become a driver for Newark or not. And maybe even some of your Uber and Lyft drivers out there that you're starting to drive a little bit, if you want any additional information, this is the place to get it at. So tune in next week. I look forward to seeing everybody there, and I really appreciate everything. We welcome your comments. With that, we are encouraged by our higher power, and I'll see you at the top. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.